gotten a closer look at the uh, world inside NBC News and its dealings with the man who used to be the face of that network news operation, Brian Williams. Of course, he was suspended. It is a place where the NBC dominated news viewership for years, but now viewers apparently are finding its competitors in increasing numbers, and it has a lot of folks in the big offices at 30 Rock very upset. There's a Vanity Fair investigative piece just out today that delves into what the folks behind the scenes have been saying about the Brian Williams affair. And one of the people who have been watching that and writing about it is one of our colleagues from Politico. Dylan Byers is the media reporter for Politico and he joins us from Los Angeles today. Dylan, good to have you along. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Talk a little bit about what they found in this piece. Uh, Vanity Fair keeps a very close eye on, on stuff like this. And I think there are a lot of people uh, waiting. If we can't get the NBC investigation, it was interesting to see what, what Vanity Fair had to say. What did you find interesting in this story? Well, you know, what I, what I really found interesting was not some... For, for those of us who have been covering this story for so long, mm -hmm. there wasn't a ton of new... Uh, information, but there was a lot here that confirmed uh, what we already knew or what we thought we knew. And then on top of that, you had some very damning assessments from current and former NBC uh, executives who basically were, were sort of uh, seeking to, to figure out who was responsible for all of the problems that NBC News has had, both with the Brian Williams. Uh, uh, controversy, and then going back to, to other sort of fiascos that the network has endured, and 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 that's really what's so valuable about this Vanity Fair piece is it, it, it ultimately where the responsibility falls, and it falls not just with the NBC News executives who have overseen this period of tumult, but also with Comcast, NBC's corporate mm -hmm. owner, uh, who acquired NBC Universal four years ago and since then has overseen really like the decline of uh, not just NBC Nightly News but also the Today Show and of course Meet the Press. There's a famous quote from, uh, and I should know his name but I don't, the, the guy who was the chairman of Comcast who talked about, yeah we were really happy to get NBC but they said the jewel in the crown was NBC News and at that time it was Brian Williams and he was astride the other three network news casts in terms of ratings, the amount of money that was being generated. This was something that they wanted very much and the, the fall from grace after that for Williams has been fairly fast and, and, and uh, uh, fairly bad, but actually for the NBC Nightly News, the newscast that he would anchor each night, it's done reasonably well. The, the replacement guy, a veteran journalist, uh, somebody who's generally well-liked within the news organization, right back there at number one. Well, right, so Lester Holt, who came in to replace Brian Williams, at least during the suspension, uh, First of all, you're right, very well liked. Also did a great, uh, a, a fine job of sustaining the ratings up until uh, just last, the last week of last month, when for the first time after five and a half years at which NBC was uh, consecutively the number one nightly news program uh, every week, they finally fell off and ceded that ground to ABC News. Now, one week does not a trend make. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you know, NBC... It could just be one week, but, but the point is, is if you look, if what, what you're seeing happening at NBC Nightly News now is what we've already seen happen at the Today Show and at Meet the Press. Programs that were dominant in their area, weekday mornings and Sunday mornings, uh, far and away the leaders, and then uh, over the course of the last four years have fallen off and ceded ground either to ABC, in, in the case of the weekday morning shows, or to CBS and or ABC in terms of Sundays. Now you're seeing nightly start to see some of that ground uh, to ABC as well. And it's really, you know, it, it's a huge, in, in that sort of contentious ratings race world of, of broadcast news, it's a huge deal. Yeah, it is. Real quickly, because we're, we're getting short on time, Andrew Lack was brought back by uh, the, the folks uh, at Comcast and, and at NBC to run the news division again. He has a difficult decision to make with Brian Williams. What do you think? Does Williams stay or go? Well, all, all conventional wisdom would say that you can't bring Williams back, that the scandal was too big. And yet, Andrew Lack is a close friend of Williams, mm -hmm. he's a confidant of Williams. Uh, every executive in the industry that we've spoken with has said that Andrew Lack's return to NBC 
means that there is going to be every effort made to bring Brian Williams back. And I think the fact that NBC has started seeding ground to ABC at Nightly News suggests that that might actually take place three, four, five months down the line. Nobody covers our business better than Dylan Byers, one of our colleagues from Politico out in Los Angeles. Dylan, many thanks.